We are so pleased to produce your play, The Legend of Crybaby Bridge, Dick. The Mishawaka Playhouse is dedicated to discovering new talent. You know, Dick, I was thinking that I would make the perfect teen mother. Wow. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Delmonico. It's Marlowe. Delmonico is Doris's last name. She didn't want to take my name. It's the name that my audience knows me by. Yes. She's been married so many times, she didn't want to confuse them. Not to mention her four divorce attorneys. Hello, Mother. Roger. I took the liberty of constructing a 5-6 scale model of the set for Mr. Cummings' play. How quaint. Get me a Starbucks double espresso non-fat white chocolate mocha grande with lots of whipped cream. You know, Dick, I am really looking forward to auditioning for you tonight. Helping you with casting after that. Excuse me. Is this where the auditions are being held? God. Yes, but you're six hours early. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm new to Mishawaka. Quite all right. A common mistake. Good Lord, you're a beautiful angel. I can mold this formless lump of clay into a beautiful swan. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, just come back at eight o'clock tonight. Yes, please. This is an insult I will not read for you. I made you, and I can unmake you. You may be a star in Mishawaka, but I found you in a gutter in Gary. You wouldn't dare. Oh, wouldn't I? You do. And I will tell everyone who you really are. You win. This time. Lovely. So, we have come to an artistic decision. I shall be eschewing the role of little Susie Crybaby. But I just saw 20 other girls who are closer in age, um, more likely to get pregnant, as teens. Let's move it along, people. There are more girls waiting to be seen. We'll send them away. Wait, we haven't seen Peggy. Who? Oh, that dreary little mouse. Send her in. Peggy, come on in. My name is Peggy Sawyer and I'll be performing Laura's monologue from The Glass Menagerie. your characters come to life, but this, this was beyond my wildest dreams. She's perfect. If you ever hope to see your precious little play on stage, you will abide by the decision of the artistic directors. Are you coming, Roger? Yes, dear. Isn't there anything we can do? Yes, my dear boy, I think we might be able to work something out. Cosmo.
Dick, I'm so glad you could come.